Uh, always a red said, SA to Liverpool, Palace expecting a bid, Miguel Delaney. There has been a little bit of chatter around SA and Liverpool. Miguel Delaney, I would say, is a very, very good journalist. I have a lot of respect for Miguel Delaney as a journalist. I don't really see him as a one-club centric kind of journalist. He's more an all-encompassing chief football writer for the Independent. And I don't know if, if it is us or not. But I would absolutely expect that Palace are expecting an offer for Eze. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, it'll also be interesting to see what happens with regards to Mark Gay. If Newcastle don't get that deal done, will they turn their attention to Gomez? And if they do, are we going to be stupid enough to sell them? Because if we imagine for a second we sold Gomez and didn't get a replacement in, that means we're going into the season with Van Dijk, Canade, and Kwanzaa. End of conversation. Uh, Stephen O'Reilly said, Miguel Delaney says Palace think Liverpool are coming for Eze. I mean, as much as I wouldn't say no to Eze, it still doesn't sort my main area of concern, which is the defence. Whether that's the defence via midfield, stopping it there or stopping it from a centre-back position. One of those, if not both of those areas are my main priority. But... If the club are viewing Eze as a future alternative for somebody who may be leaving, look, he's a good player. I have no issues around Eze. But bringing in another attacker in this window would certainly would give us, or midfield attacker, would give us firepower, but it wouldn't help us if we were short of numbers defensively. And that's still unforgivable. You know, if, if there's one area of the pitch that we could wait till next summer to sort out, it's attack. It, it's defence that needs the most addressing, in my humble opinion. Uh, imagine the English tax on the SA deal makes no sense, especially with so much similar talent already. We have bigger problems. That's exactly what I'm saying. Right, so Connor sent me this SA stuff, and it's at Crystal Palace now bracing themselves for approaches from Liverpool for uh, Eberici SA. And then it said they don't expect an approach, they've just got to stand ready and know what they're at, i.e. braced if there is one. The newsletter is written from the Palace perspective. Uh, and then somebody said, why mention Liverpool, Miguel? Miguel replied to say, because they're one of the clubs that Palace know, have had a long-term interest. It doesn't just mention Liverpool, and I was writing from a Palace perspective. So again, as I've said, I, I've never thought uh, Delaney, Miguel Delaney is a, a clickbait journalist or anything. I've nothing but the height of respect for him. Even the way he's answering people on social media there. He's been trying to be honest and say he's writing it from a Palace perspective. So I would say don't be expecting Liverpool to be signing an essay based off uh, tonight's interactions anyway. 